We're gonna play Date Mary Dom, Kristen Wiig, Julianne Moore, and Meryl Streep. I would obviously marry Meryl Streep because I just, I, I just want to like wait on her hand and foot. I'd be the best wife to you, Meryl. Why don't you ever call? I would marry Meryl Streep, and then I would just learn from her all the time. And then I would date Kristen Wiig because you'd never stop laughing. I would dump Julian Moore because, well, here's, hear me out, Julian Moore, whenever she is like having a dramatic moment, is one of the greatest actors in the world. Think about her in Magnolia. You know, that like, don't call me lady. Don't you call me lady. Having that experience of having to dump somebody who's that amazing, I just feel like I would be like taking notes and be like, yes, do that again, do that again. Then I would just secretly try to, you know, maintain a relationship with her. But we're still like sleeping together just because I can't get enough of her. What was it like working with Kate Blanchett? It was, to put it mildly, not horrible. It was kind of the greatest. When you look up to somebody for your waking life, you kind of, you know, a lot of people say, don't meet your heroes, they might be disappointing. She was not, she was warm, she was inviting, and she was just a, an incredible spirit. She's just so curious and kind and fun. I feel really lucky. I got to ride a storm with Billy Crudup, so we were about to be in a hurricane. We were in hurricane, this was just like as it was ramping up, and we were done playing Cards Against Humanity. We went up to the top and we decided to hold onto the railing and just let these huge waves roll over it. It was so cold that the sea spray would turn to ice and it would hit you. Eventually the crew came upstairs and was like, you guys cannot be up here, what are you doing? I mean, to be Spencer from Pretty Little Liars is a total honor, you know? it's. I think a lot of people have responded to her character, they love, what she represents, you know, how intelligent she is. They love the things that she's struggled with. And I think she's really relatable to a lot of people. So to, so when people identify me with her and say like, she was one of my favorite characters or she, you know, she meant this role meant so much to me, I feel really honored. But that being said, it's also, I want to distance myself so that I can take on other roles. Um, but I think that the fans of Pretty Little Liars are really gracious and that they want to see more from everybody that was involved in the show, so I think that they're really supportive. Would you ever star in a suit spin-off? <laughs> I, was, I wasn't expecting that question, sorry. Would I ever star in a suit spin-off? Like my character from Suits, the Claire character? Sure, that would be a blast. I had so much fun playing Claire. I mean, it's such a cool world, the Suits world, and I feel like I lived on that set. Every episode, there's probably a scene where I was like just in another office, like on my phone, waiting for Patrick to get off work. So I would love to be in that world. Would you want Patrick to be in the spinoff too? Or? Oh, hell no, it's my show. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> what is, I mean, it's like, you can't have that world without Mike Ross. He's like the heart of that world. So I feel like, yeah. I mean, he's off married to Rachel now. So I guess it would just kind of be like a very like sexually charged work relationship maybe. Maybe. <laughs> so, kind of a funny question because literally it's Kate Blanchett. It's been Kate Blanchett my whole life. And actually, my husband asked me that. Patrick was like, What are you going to do now that you've been in scenes with Kate Blanchett? She's been your dream. <laughs> so, I was like, I guess you can only. You only go down from here. I mean, but no, there's a bunch of people I would love to work with. You know who's really, and I've met her once, she's so kind and she's just such an incredible spirit. Like, I feel like Zoe Kravitz is just such a rad human being that I would love to be in some kind of film or series with her just because I, I think she brings so much to the screen. Got a secret, can you keep it? I mean, I can never get enough of Shay Mitchell. I just think she's like, a goddess of a human being. Keegan Allen, Billy Crudup, Kate Blanchett. Brutal. Brutal. D okay. Obviously, Mary Kate Blanchett. You just, I mean, I probably never see her. She's working so much. It'd be like a real difficult relationship <laughs> to maintain. But um, I just think sitting across from her would be the wildest thing every night at dinner. Just be like, what'd you do today, honey? Um, that would be amazing. I'd date Billy because that would be fun. What a dream. And then I'd dump Keegan only because, and hear me out, 
I've had to dump Keegan so many times on the show. I feel like we do it really well and we also stay friends. And, uh, and then I get to keep him in my life as one of my besties. And having Keegan in your life as one of your besties is, it's a pretty lucky place to be. Megan Mullally. Okay. Lawrence Fishburne. What? Sorry. Patrick Adams. Huh? I have to say Mary Patrick Adams because I did it. Um, I mean me. What do I, I can't do this. I gotta skip. You can't choose between Lawrence and Megan. Like, how? That's insane. I would just date both of them. I dump myself at that point. <laughs> Ashley Benson, Shay Mitchell, and Lucy Hale. Bruh. Bruh. Um. Date Ashley, because you'd have so much fun. Uh, marry Shay, because what an incredible life that would be to be married. And then again, like, I wouldn't, you can't dump Lucy. It's like, because seeing Lucy cry would be the worst thing ever. Seeing Lucy cry is like, it's like seeing a puppy cry. You would never want that. So again, I dump myself before I do that. <laughs> Marry Harry Potter, because I'm the hugest Potterhead. Um, I date Prince Harry because I, he seems like a lovely gentleman. And I dump Harry Styles because I, I never got on the One Direction train and I'm sure he's lovely, but like, I don't care. And also like, I'm sure he could do with being dumped once in his life just to like experience it. Cause I'm sure he's, I don't want to say that. I'm sure he's experienced his own sadness, but like when it comes to girls, he has no shortage. He'll be fine. Harry, he'll be fine. I wouldn't break up with his hair though. No, I dump him, but your hair gets to say. Nick Jonas, Joe Jonas, Kevin Jonas. I know nothing about the Jonas brothers other than their brothers who are all named Jonas. There's one brother that makes me dance whenever he comes on. Uh, he, make, he makes my daughter dance whenever the song comes on. Who is it? Joe. Nick. Something like that. It's probably Nick. So, cool, cool. So thanks for making your music. Stopping on a mark in a kayak is impossible. You just keep moving. And there were several moments when I crashed into the camera for Cape Blanchett that we don't need to talk about. So you're like the friendly breakup person. Yeah, I'm friends with all my exes for obvious reasons because they're like Julianne Moore, Keegan Allen, Lucy Hale. Like, <laughs> you stay friends with those exes.